Emily Han's The Cooking of China delves into the rich and diverse culinary traditions of China, a nation where food is more than just sustenance, it is a deep reflection of its culture, history, and philosophy. Han explores how Chinese cuisine, with its regional diversity, offers insight into the lives and values of the people who prepare and consume it. Her book is not simply a collection of recipes but an intricate weaving of food with the stories, traditions, and wisdom of Chinese civilization. One of the key themes in the cooking of China is the concept of balance, which is central to Chinese philosophy and manifests strongly in its cuisine. Han highlights how Chinese dishes aim to create harmony between flavors, textures, and ingredients, embodying the Taoist belief in the balance of opposites. The contrast between spicy and mild, soft and crunchy, and sweet and savory is not merely for taste but is a reflection of yin and yang, the dual forces that Chinese thought believes governs life and the universe. Han's depiction of the importance of balance extends beyond the plate, offering readers a window into how this philosophy permeates Chinese culture at large, whether in art, medicine, or everyday life. Regional diversity is another critical element Han addresses in her exploration of Chinese food. The vast geography of China, with its varying climates and topographies, has given rise to a cuisine that is as diverse as its landscapes. In her book, Han introduces readers to the distinctive cooking styles of regions like Canton, Sichuan, and Shanghai. Each region, with its own climatic conditions and agricultural outputs, has developed unique methods of cooking and a reliance on particular ingredients. For example, the coastal regions of China feature seafood prominently, while Sichuan cuisine is known for its bold use of chili and peppercorns to create heat. Han's vivid descriptions of these culinary traditions help readers appreciate the sheer scope of Chinese cooking and the connection between food and place. Han also emphasizes the role of food in Chinese social and family life. Meals in China are not just about individual nourishment but are often a communal experience, shared with family, friends, or even entire communities. The act of eating together fosters bonds and reinforces social ties. In many Chinese households, large, elaborate meals are common, especially during festivals or significant life events. Han paints a picture of food as a means of expressing generosity and hospitality. Banquets, she explains, are not just displays of wealth or culinary prowess but acts of sharing and respect, underscoring the deep value placed on human relationships in Chinese society. The historical evolution of Chinese cuisine is another aspect Han explores in her book. She traces how centuries of dynastic rule, invasions, and trade have shaped what is now known as Chinese cooking. From the Mongol influence during the Yuan dynasty, which introduced new ingredients and techniques, to the arrival of European traders who brought with them foods like chili peppers, the history of China is deeply intertwined with the evolution of its food. Han suggests that understanding Chinese cooking requires an understanding of the historical currents that have shaped it. Chinese cuisine, as she describes it, is a living testament to the country's openness to outside influences while maintaining its unique identity. Through the cooking of China, Han not only provides readers with an introduction to the ingredients, techniques, and dishes that make up Chinese cuisine but also frames these culinary practices within the broader context of Chinese life. The kitchen, in Han's view, is a microcosm of Chinese culture. Whether through the philosophy of balance, the diversity of regional traditions, the importance of food in social life, or the historical developments that have influenced the nation's cooking, Han offers a portrait of China that is as complex and flavorful as the dishes she describes. Her book is a celebration of a cuisine that has, for centuries, been central to the cultural identity of China, and through it, she invites readers not only to savor its flavors but to understand the deeper meanings behind every meal.